Okay, so this is just kind of bonus footage. I want to do a video just on helping you make your first sale and signing your first contract and building your first roof. Now, I know we've kind of talked about how to do all this stuff, but I kind of want to do a step-by-step -step guide on how this is going to work out. Now, it may not be an exact disorder every time because you might be doing retail, you might be doing an insurance claim versus retail, or you might your first contract might be commercial or do a repair. But I'm going to walk you down the basic process of how you're going to sign your first contract. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to find your first customer. And again, we're going to talk about why you always don't want to say yes, even though I've talked about it before. Then you're going to be doing an inspection of the property. Then you're going to write your estimate. You're going to get a contract signed. You're going to schedule a date for your project. Then you're going to get your permit and start your material order. You're going to start the project. You're going to do a final inspection, then close it out, and then finally get your payment. Okay, so let's just kind of walk down this process a little bit in detail. Again, you don't always have to say yes to your first customer, but you got to figure out how you're going to get it first. Are you going to go out and door knock? Are you going to do digital marketing? Are you going to do Facebook? You know, the point is, is you got to be able to find someone who wants roofing work done for you to get your first customer, whether it be a repair, whether it be a full roof replacement, or maybe you're a little bit ahead of the game and you've done a lot of work before and you've already got, you know, a book of business ready to go. As soon as you start your business and you do a project for them, point is, is that you need to find out who your first customer is going to be. And you don't always have to say yes. If somebody lowballs you and says, hey, can you hop on my roof and repair this huge patch for 50 bucks, project that's not worth your time and money, don't do it, okay? You're going to get more opportunities, okay? So let's just say you, you find the right person, the project's right, and we'll just walk you down a, a normal process and we'll just do, we'll do a retail. We won't worry about the insurance claim stuff. You get a call and someone says, hey, you know, my roof's really old. I want to get a quote for a roof replacement. So you're going to drive out to their house, look professional. I'm going to talk about, I've talked about this in the past on looking professional, look like somebody who does work, but also you don't want to look like somebody, again, that's about to buy your next six pack. Look professional. And you're going to go in, you're going to do an inspection on the property, okay? And then you're going to, Tell them yes or no, you need a new roof. Now guys, I, I promise you have an integrity and don't sell in selling people roofs that, that they don't need is not a good idea. Just, just act with character and integrity. I promise you that's gonna pay dividends down the road a lot more than you just trying to sell as many roofs as possible, okay? So if they need a new roof, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna write an estimate. Now there's, a, again, lots of different ways to do that. There's getting your labor materials, all that stuff together, like I told you before on how to build out an estimate, or you can use Xactimate. There's a lot of different ways of doing it. You're gonna to have to decide what's best for your company, but you're gonna go ahead and write them an estimate. Sometimes they're gonna go with you, sometimes they're not, okay? And if they wanna say, okay, I wanna sit here and wait, I don't wanna sign up right now, you're probably gonna have a follow-up meeting to get a contract signed. Sometimes it might be over the phone, they might say, hey, I got your estimate, I'm deciding to go with you. I do recommend you getting tech savvy as much as possible and do as much work as you can emailing stuff over, having them sign and then email it back or using DocuSign or one of the other online products to do that. Or you drive out there and get your contract signed. The point is, is the next thing you're going to do is get a contract signed. Now, once you get a contract signed, you want to collect your money, whether it's half up front or you're doing insurance work. But in this case, we're doing a retail job. So you say, okay, we want to get our half up front again. If you have contracts on, you need to collect right there. You don't need to have to drive back out there. You need to let them know ahead of time so you're not wasting your time driving back and forth, back and forth, back. That's just extra work. Make sure they know when they sign the contract that you're going to need half up front or whatever your payment terms are going to be. And then you're going to finally be able to schedule your project. With that, with scheduling your date and time, you need to work with the homeowner or business owner that you're doing the project for. And you're going to have to pull permits if you need any permits need any permits pulled, and then you're also gonna do your material order. Now, make sure that if your material order can't be filled the day that you set with your homeowner or business owner, make sure you call them and schedule it right. Now, understand too, if you own a roofing company, you're gonna be working outside and you can't always control the rain and the weather. So sometimes you're gonna have issues with that, okay? So just let them know that typically it's going to be a 72 hour window when you're going to get started, but you're planning on starting Friday, July 3rd. That's the date that you're planning on doing the project.
okay? You also gotta make sure your subcontractors are available that day to do their work. This is a relationship you're gonna build with them to make sure they're on time, but then you're gonna schedule everybody for the project. So you got materials showing up, you've already got your permits pulled, you got your roofers, the date and time, make sure they have the correct address. And then guys, one little tidbit of extra information I'm gonna give you is text your roofing contractor a picture of the house or whoever sold the, the project, tell them the picture of the house because if they tear off the wrong roof and they re-roof it, you're probably gonna be out of all that money. So make sure they're not roofing the wrong house. That does happen. So sending a picture of the, of the house with the address is something I strongly recommend doing and that'll keep you from uh, roofing the wrong house from time to time. Thank God it's never happened to us, but it's almost happened a few times, okay? Then you're gonna finally start the project. Once you get out there, whether you just send out your subs because you trust them, I recommend while you're doing your first project, you be out there from the very beginning to the very end, okay? So once they get finished, make sure everything's cleaned up properly. Make sure the homeowner is happy. Collect your second check and close out your project and take your money to the bank. That's how to do a roofing project. Now, obviously that's the easy version. There's gonna be some problems you're gonna run into. Guys, it's part of running a business. You really gotta love what you do. But I hope this was helpful on you understanding how to go ahead and run your first project and make your first sale.